final night for Mass Camp 2014 got underway on Thursday. The five remaining bands took to their respective areas, bringing life to the streets with the latest soca tunes and creative concepts. Soca Mocha was our first stop for the night. The theme for the group is Believe It or Not. And in collaboration with Oceana, the group is highlighting many wonders of the jewel. You know, I work in Tourist Village and um, like every day I hear the tourists talk about how rich Belize is. And you know, and they will die to live in a country like Belize. And we have our locals right here, they want to go abroad. We have, we have gold right here, we're walking on the street of Emerald and Gold. And that's what the first section is portraying Emerald City. So it's full emerald green and gold. And then we have our um, section number two, that's the Jaguar. And then we have the third section, which is the blue hole. And then the last section is the, um, the lionfish. And this lionfish, yes, it doesn't have anything to do with Belize. It came here by mistake, but um, at the same time, we have to deal with it because it's here. And what this lionfish is doing, it's um, eating up our, a lot of our juvenile fish. And um, so what we wanted to do, is to um, tell Belizean about this lionfish. Two blocks away on Fairweather Street were the Soka Warriors seniors. Their team is Good Conquers the Bad. It took us quite some while to put it together, but it's here. Tell us about what we will see on the streets come Carnival Road March 2014. Okay, you should see hypeness, fun, and the whole team setting that we put together. It was then Belizean Jewel to present to the judges their team, Ancients Behaving Badly, Cleopatra finding a wife for her son. Cleopatra decided to capture all the babies, the newborn babies, so that she can keep them pure for her son, so that, that her son can find a, a wife that is a virgin, is, she is pure. So that's why we have a white section. And the other section is that they did this big ball, this carnival ball, so that everybody can see his wife. But he didn't even find a wife then, so that the, at the same time the queen decided, let's put a little brightness in this dance. So she did this green section, as you can see. And um, at the time, the, the, the son said, wow, that's where he saw his, his wife. And then she escaped from him. And then when she escaped from him, she went into these big, beautiful colors, as you can see, big, beautiful, all colors. But still, Octavia found his wife in all those colors. And they got married, and up to now this ball continues every September, even here in Belize. Now, we know that Belizean Jewel uh, um, nearly took the title last year, uh, and of course, they're coming back for the win, I believe. Tell us about that. Of course, our first year we placed third, last year we placed second, and this year we are hoping for first. <laughs> Eternity Mass Band is next. They have been partaking in the Carnival Road March for eight years, and this time their team is Unity is Strength. Different colors, one people, our land, our people, our riches. We have four different sections. And one of the biggest ones is the Rastafarian section. I know everybody wanted us to bring it back. We did it already. And we use that to encompass the, the you know, sections for the other, you know. So um, we have the Rasta section. The colors are green, yellow, red, and black. And all of these colors have a certain meaning to it. So we took three of the meanings and encompassed it our other groups. And then we have the green and orange, which represents the land which is the green. And so, you know, that's, that consists of the flowers, the leaves, everything beautiful about the plants and the stuff in our country. And you know what? We all live on the land. We all breathe the oxygen from the, you know, everything. And then we have um, our diamonds, 
which is the last gold, which is the yellow in the costume for the Rastafarians. And that just talks about the gold and the riches that we were wrapped up and we were, you know, taken from us and stuff like that. And then we have the third section, which is the pink and gold, and that is the sacrifice section. Our people who gave up their lives and everything to make us the way we are today. Even our beliefs and culture, our independence, or you know, we are celebrating September and stuff like that. President of the Carnival Association, Patrick Thompson, spoke of the judging criteria for the preliminaries of the Carnival Road March. He says that while the junior and senior costumes are judged separately, the preliminary judging represents 20% of the final score. The judges are looking for creativity, how the group bring their design to life, the designer idea to life, right? That is 10 points. They are also looking on our creativity, right? Um, this is how well, as I see, the costume come to life, appearance, neatness of the costume and the blend of colors which is another 10 points which tally for the 20 points that they are looking for tonight and the previous two nights. No? Now all that is standing between these 14 bands and the Carnival Road March on September 13th is the King and Queen competition that is set for Saturday at the Rogers Stadium in Belize City. Each band will produce one king and one queen only to compete in the giant costume war. Dwayne Moody for News 5.